What's going on everybody? I got a GLP 60 EL forklift. I'm doing a time belt, uh, water pump, uh, muffler, a whole bunch of other odds and ends, tune up. Uh, sorry about my voice, I'm still a little sick, getting over a little cold here. So uh, I got the hood off, you can see, hood's over there. There was also a back panel here that goes on top of radiator, took that off. Uh, there's a harness here for the seat switch, seat switches off, as you can see. Uh, I'm going to have to take uh, air cleaner off, uh, the fan shroud, the fan, uh, the serpentine belt, and the uh, fan pulley, uh, and uh, the bracket there, take all that stuff off. Uh, I'll get back to you guys when I take it all off. So I got the radiator out, uh, the fan pulley off, uh, the shroud, the fan, uh, I had to undo some electrical connections. Um, uh, if I forgot to mention, this is a uh, this is the 2.4 psi engine. Uh, as you can see, it's got dry shafts. So you're gonna have to take the dry shaft off to get the rest of the serpentine belts. There's two of them. This is the one bracket I was talking about to come that comes off. Uh, the radiator comes off. There's uh, some rubber grommets on here in the radiator. As you can see, it's bolted right on through. Uh, so that's how they come off. Uh, the shroud was bolted onto the top. The radiator bolts there. Um, cool reservoir, just have to take one bolt out, swing that down to get into the, the bolt for there. And uh, I will uh, come back to you when I get everything else off. All right, to get that dry shaft off, you're gonna have to unbolt all four of those Allen heads off to the dry shaft, and then you should be able to just slide it out of the way and maybe off to the side, and it'll give you enough room to work on. All right, so you have to remove that adapter plate. That, that adapter plate on the crank uh, holds the dry shaft on. Try to get that plate off before you get the crank bolt on loose. All right, so I got the crank pulley off, as you can see. Uh, the only thing I had to do is for the uh, dry shaft, for the pump there, uh, I had to remove the bolts, and then I put a pry bar in there, pry them back just to get enough room to uh, get that crank pulley out. So uh, that's how you do that. Um, I'll uh, get back to you when I get the cover and uh, uh, water pump uh, pulley off. Also, uh, not all of the 2.4 PSI engines have a dry shaft to run the pump. Some of them uh, don't even have the pump at all that are ran uh, external. A lot of them are ran, the pumps are internal. Uh, so you might not even have this kind of style, but if you do have the one with the external pump and the dry shaft, uh, that's how that comes off. All right, so as you can see, I got the timing cover off. There was a big plate bracket here. You have to take that off. It also has the cam sensor on it. You gotta unplug that. But uh, yeah, so the cover's off. So now we're gonna start taking off the belt, the tensioner, water pump, uh, uh, the pulleys. Uh, so once I take all that stuff off, I'll bring you guys back. Also have to line up uh, all the uh, timing marks, I will uh, show you that in a second. All right, so I got the time marks lined up. There's one on the uh, cam here. Uh, there's a notch on the top of the case there. I'm not too sure if you can see it. Um, got one down here. Uh, it's not perfectly lined up, but I mean, this one's, this one's not, don't really have to matter as much. Uh, this one's lined up with the dowel pin. Uh, that's an important one to line up. And then this one over here, uh, it's lined, supposed to be lined up with the notch of the case, but also this one's not that important to be perfectly lined up. It's okay if it's off a tooth, uh, a tooth or two. Um, so, uh, and then we just gotta get the, the uh, tensioner off and then a couple of the pulleys and I'll bring you back in. All right, so as you can see, I got the time belt off. I replaced that small one down there with the new uh, tensioner down there. So that's pretty simple, uh, explanatory to come off and on. Uh, I replaced that uh, idler pulley there. See, so yeah, I got the water pump off. I got the surface uh, nice and clean. Uh, this uh, tube has a cone tube there, and it goes <clears throat> right into there, into the, the water pump. So you gotta make sure that's seated all the way before you, you know, put it all the way in. As you see, I got the gasket on there, and then uh, for insurances, I, extra insurance, I uh, put a little thin coat of the right stuff uh, uh, gasket maker. So I'm gonna get that installed and uh, bring you guys back here. All right, so I got the water pump back on. I got the 
tensioner pulley on I got uh, everything pretty much all back together here and trying to get you guys a good good view here it's a little small area to work in uh, so I just got to get the belt on and then the hydraulic tensioner and I'll show you how to uh, show you guys how to put that on uh, just in a second all right so I got the hydraulic tensioner on there as you see the pulleys on there belts on there I uh, got all routed right uh, so to get this hydraulic tensioner uh, tension basically what you got to do is is the tensioner pulley there you got to get a tool and put into uh, the holes there put tension on the belt and then that uh, pin should have no resistance on it so when you pull that pin out it should have no resistance so what we're going to do is tighten uh, turn that to, to get the belt tension and then get tension uh, onto the hydraulic tensioner and like I said as soon as you once you pull that pin out it should have no tension at all alright so see so I got this uh, tensioner pulley tightened down so basically what I did I got my tool and I spun it that way to get tension on the belt so there's no more tension on or there's no looseness on the belt and I tighten my bolt and then watch when I pull this pin I'm just gonna pull it very very gently you'll see there's no resistance you can even see just from it's free spinning there's no resistance pull that pin no resistance on that pin that's exactly how it should be all right, so you can see I got the bottom timing cover on and then that uh, big bracket there. I just got to get that top uh, timing cover on and uh, this job is pretty much complete. Uh, I'm not going to bore you with the other stuff. I guess I got to do the muffler, tune off some other odds and ends and stuff. Uh, so if you guys like that video, uh, give me a like, subscribe, comment. Uh, thank you very much.